Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University. Joining us from the women's soccer team, uh, both in their junior season, is Hannah Plank and Caitlin Rubble. How are you girls doing today? Good. Okay, first um, to... Um, well, first, I will give each of you the opportunity to introduce yourselves. Um, so, Hannah, I'll give you the first opening. Hello, my name is Hannah Plank, and I am majoring in mechanical engineering. All right. And then, um, so Hannah, she, uh, last year, she provided two goals for us and four assists for eight points to um, she tied for ninth in the HCAC in assists and then received academic all HCAC recognition. Um, and then, so Caitlin, I give you the opening. Hi, I'm Caitlin Ravel. My major is psychology and youth leadership and development with a minor in Spanish. All right. Um, Kate, and then Caitlin, she provided two assists for the Ravens last year. She received academic all HCAC recognition, also added a goal in her freshman season. Um, so first to uh, kick things off, I will, um, I'll give Caitlin, I'll start with you. For, who is your inspiration and why? I think my mom is definitely my inspiration because she always pushes me to do my best. She's, you know, like another coach to me too. She played soccer growing up, so she's just always there for me. All right, and then Hannah? Um, I would say my inspiration is my dad. Um, growing up and even now, he is just such a hard worker and always encourages me to um, work hard and give my 110%. So. All right. And then um, Hannah, you, you can go first this time and then Caitlin, you can follow. Uh, what is your driving force slash motivation? Um, if we're talking specifically about soccer, I would say definitely my teammates and the legacy that was left behind from other girls and then the legacy I'm going to be like, you know, leave behind as a player. So. All right. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. I think a big reason why I play is for my team because I want to perform for them and do everything for them. Okay. Um, and then, so Caitlin, you can go first this time. What is your favorite aspect about sports and why? Definitely the competitiveness because I just love going out there and competing against someone and winning is a good feeling. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, I would definitely have to agree with um, Caitlin. I am a competitive person, so I love going out there and competing and giving my best and giving my all. All right. Um, what is your favorite non-athletic memory at AU? And I'll start with Hannah. Um, my favorite memory would definitely be disco, dancing, and donuts. Um, me and my friends, we dressed up and we danced around and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think mine was laser tag in the library because you're just running around with your friends trying to, I don't know, trying to win. The competitive side comes out there too. <laughs> All right. Um, and then Caitlin, I'll have you start this next one. What is your favorite athletic memory at AU? I think definitely my freshman year when we made the conference tournament. That was a really good feeling. Okay. And then for me, it would be beating Mount St. Joe um, last year. It was a very competitive game, but we ended up coming on top with the 3-0 win, and um, just celebrating that with my teammates was really special. All right, switching gears for a little bit, um, we get into the team superlative type questions, and then and then you guys can, I forgot to, I forgot, I completely didn't acknowledge that you guys are roommates, but I just wanted to um, but first to uh, get things going on the team superlative type questions. Um, for Hannah, you can start. Who on the team is best dressed? Okay, I think that Caitlin and I would say um, probably around the similar things, but uh, Veda Craig, uh, she has the best style. It's so cute and trendy. Shout out to Veda. 
<laughs> yes, I would definitely agree with that. She's always taking little pictures and posting them on Instagram, and I love it. <laughs> All right. Um, and then, Caitlin, you can start this one. Who on the team is the best dancer? Oh, goodness. Well, if you were to ask HP, she'd probably say me because I dance all the time. <laughs> but I don't know if it's the best. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have to agree with Caitlin. It's definitely her. She has some really unique moves. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, Hannah, you can start this one. Who on the team is the Joker's prankster best sense of humor? Oh gosh, um, this is kind of a hard one because there's so many funny, humorous <laughs> jokesters, pranksters on our team, um, but I'd probably have to go with Renee. <laughs> She's always making TikToks and making everyone laugh, so. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, and I also think Carissa is someone who's always cracking jokes and making people laugh. All right. Um... Caitlin, I'll have you take this next one to start. Who on the team is most outgoing? I would say Renee, because she's always loud and having a good time. Uh, yeah, I'd probably have to say Renee, too. Uh, I agree with Caitlin. She's always screaming and yelling and laughing, and it's nice. <laughs> All right. Um, who on the team is the best trash talker? Hannah, you can start. Uh, I would definitely say Nadia Bentley. Uh, she is very intense on the soccer field, which is great. Um, so I think definitely Nadia. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Nadia is very intense and she's not going to let anyone get in her way. All right. Um, who on the, and then who on the team is the pregame DJ? And then Caitlin, you can start. Well, last year we had a bunch of seniors graduate and they were the pregame DJs. So we, we don't have one this year. We don't know yet because our we haven't started our season. <laughs> okay. Who um who took the who took the charge last year then? Oh, it was D, right, Hannah? D? Yeah. yeah, a goalie from last year. All right. And then from every interview I've done in women's soccer so far, I've been told that the go-to pregame song is a secret. That is right. It is. It's disclosed information. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and then do either of you personally have a go-to, but uh, like one for yourself? Um, I don't think I do. I just listen to whatever comes up next <laughs> the 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 secret song basically the secret song yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's my hype song <laughs> all right um going into the next segment of questions um hannah you can we'll we'll keep going the back and forth and then hannah you start and we'll alternate uh, first who um first who is your favorite professional athlete um I would have to say Julie Ertz on the national team. Uh, we kind of play similarly. She's in the center meds. So I just have a lot of respect for her and the composure she has on the field. Okay. Yeah, I would say mine is Rose Lavelle. She's a center mid on the women's national team. And I try to play like her because, you know, she's always so calm and composed. And I love that about her. All right. Um, who is your favorite band slash artist? Mine, I think, is Thomas Rhett or Luke Bryan. Okay. Mine's definitely Luke Bryan. I've seen him in concert three times now. <laughs> All right. Um, if you could invite three people to dinner, dead or alive, who would you invite? Okay, so this is kind of a hard one because there's a lot of people in my life that I'd want to invite, but uh, I think one, Jesus, because that's always the right answer. <laughs> and then um, secondly, my great grandpa, Pop, I'd want to invite him just because I never got the chance to meet him, but I've heard a lot about just his story and his life, and I think that would be really cool to like sit down at a table and have a conversation with him. And then um, my third person would be my Mimi because um, that's her dad, and I just know that that would be super special to her. 
Okay. I think that I would invite my grandpa for sure because he was so loving and caring and he meant a lot to me. And I love Ellen DeGeneres, so I think she would come as well. She's so funny. <laughs> and then probably my grandma because she is um, a lot of fun to be around and I love being around her. All right. What is your favorite food? Um, oh gosh, mine definitely Mexican food. Anything Mexican. <laughs> um, okay, generally chicken, tenders, chicken nuggets, um, but more specifically Chick-fil-A. <laughs> okay. Um, if you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport, what would you have a good chance of getting a medal in? Um, so I know Caitlin and I are going to kind of have similar answers to this one, but um, mine is definitely cleaning. Um, my roommates would probably say the same thing because I'm constantly cleaning. <laughs> do you have a, um, do you, um, do you have a best chore? Um, Mopping. Or favorite? <laughs> I would say, yeah, like um, cleaning the floor or <laughs> sweeping because I'm like constantly like getting the hose out and like edging the room and like getting under stuff. <laughs> I don't like dust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was walking down the hallway today and I was like, oh, that's Hannah vacuuming again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but my, what I would turn into an Olympic sport was probably organizing because I am so organized. I have my planner, write everything out. I have a calendar right here, tells me everything. <laughs> All right, and then um, what is your favorite thing to do outside of soccer? Mine is to hang out with my friends and just kind of relax. Okay. Um, my favorite thing would just be like anything outdoors, um, whether that be just like taking a walk or riding the four wheelers or whatever it is, fishing. I love to do that. So just being outside. All right. Um, do you have any pets? And if so, what kind and what are their names? Okay. I have one pet. Um, her name's Lucy. She's a Yorkie poo and she's like literally the cutest and sweetest dog ever. <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay. I don't have any pets, so <laughs> can't comment there. <laughs> All right. Um, wh um, what hobby would you get into if time weren't an issue? I think definitely hiking because I love being outside and doing things active like that. Okay. Um, for me, it would be triathlons. I think those are literally the coolest thing ever and um, my dad has competed in triathlons before and it's something that takes a lot of time and I feel like after I'm done playing college sports that I'll definitely try to get into it. <laughs> do you have a do you have a strong suit on which leg? Um, probably running even though I don't like running. <laughs> that would probably okay. be the best um, leg of the race for sure. <laughs> yeah I mean you get that um, I'm sure you're used to that kind of endurance in soccer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, I wanted to be a school teacher. Okay. I wanted to be a physical therapist. All right. Um, let's see. Well, um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Mine is definitely strawberry. Okay. Chocolate chip for me. <laughs> All right. Um, what is your favorite candy? <laughs> uh, we have the same favorite candy. We both like Kit Kats. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Um, other than soccer, what is your favorite sport? I love basketball. I played basketball all growing up until my sophomore year of high school, and I just love watching it. Okay. Uh, I would definitely say football for me. Uh, just like kind of brings back um, childhood memories of like me and my family watching football together, and I just love it. 
All right. What is your favorite professional sports team? Ooh. <laughs> I would have to say, um, even though we're not the best, the Bengals. <laughs> okay. Mine is the Green Bay Packers. All right. <laughs> Um, who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> I think Hannah agrees with Zac Efron. <laughs> yeah, this is my roommates. Like, really. <laughs> All right, and then what is your favorite quote? Uh, for me, my favorite quote is, "If you couldn't play tomorrow, how hard would you play today?" Okay. Do you know who that's by? Um, I think it's like an unknown okay. author or whatever, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, well, what really stuck with me, my grandpa used to say, um, the best thing in life is to love and be loved in return. Is that, that's always stuck with me and I think that's super important in life. All right, um, what are your favorite hobbies? Oh goodness, mine, um, Definitely watching Netflix, <laughs> going outside and just going for a run or walking, whatever, outside. Okay. Uh, my favorite hobby is probably fishing. I love to go fish, especially with my boyfriend. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. What is a little known but amazing fact about yourself? I've never broken a bone. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is also mine. I've never broken a bone either. We were talking about that before this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can say that's true about myself, or at least to my knowledge. I can't confirm <laughs> that that's actually true, though. <laughs> um, why did you choose AU? I chose AU because it was such... A close environment and a family atmosphere and that's what I was really looking for in a school and a soccer team. Okay. Yeah so uh, for me as soon as I stepped on campus it felt like home honestly like and I know a lot of people would say that about AU. Um, the professors, the um, staff, everyone is just so welcoming and um, so genuine that it just kind of pulls you in and makes you want to come here, so. All right. Um, what is your favorite class at AU and why? <laughs> uh, definitely aquatics. I am taking aquatics with Jim, Squ Jim Scott, and he is literally the best professor ever. So I, that would, I would say that was probably my best class that I love here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me this semester, um, probably my capstone research class because, you know, it's my first time really doing research on my own and it's a lot of fun just to create something yourself and do everything yourself. And I think it's really cool. All right. Who is your favorite professor at AU and why? Mine is definitely Dr. Blunt because she is so fun and exciting and really gets to know you and cares a lot about you. Yeah, I would have to say uh, Dr. Lambright, um, shout out to him. He's literally the best professor here, <laughs> at least I think. <laughs> uh, he really takes the time to get to know each and every one of his students and he makes math actually fun and interesting. And he makes sure that he comes to every single soccer match that he could come to, which I think is one of the coolest things that, um, just about him. <laughs> All right. What are your plans after college? Uh, so for me, I first things first is I want to get out in the industry and get a job. And then I look forward to hopefully getting married and getting a farm and having children and lots of animals. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For me, it's definitely grad school. Um, I'm hoping to go on to either my master's or doctorate in clinical psychology. And then somewhere in between there, getting married and having kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then 
And then finally, what do you want your lasting legacy to be at AU? Yeah, I think for me, it's super important to be someone that everyone looks up to who is hardworking and determined. And I just want that to be what people think when they think of me. And I don't want to leave any regrets behind here. Yeah, I would definitely say something similar to Caitlin. Um, it was so important as a freshman to look up to those upperclassmen and just see how they performed and see how they handled themselves. And um, that's important to me that I leave that legacy behind so that the underclassmen look up towards me. And um, I always want people to think when they think of Hannah Plank that they think that I am kind and that I'm positive and that I'm hardworking and that I'm someone that they can look up to and talk to. All right, well, I think I've covered all my questions. Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Hannah, Caitlin, thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank you. Thank you. Be sure to follow along with more Spotlight Raven Series interviews. We'll have more coming soon, so we will see you then.